Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well here's a leftover empty mini bottle from a video I did probably a couple weeks ago. Let's go ahead and fill this little container up with these wood ashes. Nothing special about these ashes, just what happens to have been burning in the hobo stove. And we'll use this little container and I wanted to show you just out of this container three different ways that you can use ashes, wood ashes, to help you make a fire. And as usual, the wind is blowing. So it's gonna be interesting to see, <laughs> see how this goes. Doesn't take much to get some good grip. Yeah, we got ignition. You see that wind is blowing it. So, I definitely needed the wood ashes on that one to get enough grip to get the ember. Well, that wind is just a blowing. We'll let the wind blow on it. Let's see what the wind can do for it. Now, it would not be wrong to drop some ashes down inside the tinder bundle either. Because that'll help also. All right, so now I forgot that I have a yucca leaf, a spare yucca leaf from the last time I worked with it. It's been sitting out here for two weeks now. Let's go ahead and strip the fibers out of it. We'll let those fibers be drying while we do the ash tender, and then we'll come back and fire roll uh, the yucca fibers. And you wanna wrap this part around your finger and do the other half. Now, if I can stay in camera range for it to dry out, I'm just gonna separate all these fibers and just lay them out across a stump and let the sun and the, the breeze that we have today dry. All right, whenever you make ash tinder, you need to saturate that tinder with as much ash as it'll hold. So we'll use a piece of this t-shirt. And get our bottle of ashes out. And just start working it into that fabric. Working it in there. Let's go ahead and take this guard off. We'll take this guard off. Stick that ash tinder right down in there, right next to that mini ferro rod and the striker wheel. I'll show you. <clears throat> Stick
stick it right down in here. Hold it in there with my finger. And then roll this on the table. just gonna sit there and keep on smoking hopefully we can get done with the uh, yucca fire roll before this completely consumes itself leave it set in there just let it smolder a little bit make up this bird's nest <clears throat> and there it goes more I need to show you I actually don't need that much fiber let's take let's take this out right here we'll save that for some other day let's see if we can turn this into a fire roll the problem with these coarse fibers is when you put the ashes in them they want to sift all the way through the fibers and show up on the bottom board so you have to be careful to make sure you get your you do you are able to get your ashes in there And that's how little we used for all three of these ignitions. Oh, this one's going to ignite. Let's give it 20 good hard rolls, see what happens. I decided to go to 30, and that's all it took to ignite it. I have worked a lot harder to get yucca fibers to ignite. There you go. You might want to get a little container like this and start carrying ashes with you every time every time you're out in the woods. Keep it in your pack. You could keep it in your glove box. You're going to get good grip on your hands for hand drill and you're going to get um, you can use natural fibers and do the fire roll or you can do ash tender. And still we've got a bunch of ashes left over. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.